Creating an offline output in Visualize is a simple process with several options. This lesson will go over the five output options available from the main toolbar. Snapshot, Render, Animation, Turntable, and Sun Study. Of those options, only Snapshot and Render are available in Visualize Standard, though they are available in Visualize Professional. The basic options for each of these outputs will be covered, as well as when to use one over the other. The final section of this lesson will go over how to save render settings as a render profile that can be easily loaded for future renders or used in easy mode. The model here has been fully set up and is ready to generate an output. There are five output options available in Visualize from the main toolbar. The first two, Snapshot and Render, available in Visualize Standard, output still images, while Visualize Professional can use the others to output interactive or movie files. Snapshot is the first of the output options and simply outputs the viewport at the current pass count and resolution. I'll trigger a snapshot render. And notice there are only two settings that I can change, the image format and output folder. As the simplest output option, snapshot renders are useful for creating a quick output to compare lighting scenarios and appearance settings. The next option, render, has the same output folder and image format options but also has options to change the file name, output mode, and to add an alpha channel if the chosen image format allows it. The resolution options use the same aspect ratio as the viewport by default, and the overall size can be adjusted manually. The render selection settings are the same as in the main toolbar, preview, which will create an output without any render passes, fast, which outputs after 100 passes, and accurate, where either a specific pass count or time can be chosen. For objects without complex transparencies, the default of 500 passes will produce a noise-free image, but complex scenes and interior spaces will need higher pass counts. The next output I'll go to is animation, and it, along with both the turntable and sun study outputs, have two sub-tabs. The render options sub-tab is identical to the render output, with options to adjust the output file, final resolution, and renderer selection. The Animation Options subtab has the same output file options as well as settings for setting up the animation. Enabling the Create Movie checkbox will automatically change my image format to TIFF and allow me to select a movie format instead. With Create Movie enabled, Visualize will output both a single movie file and a separate folder with every still image used to make the movie. The turntable output also has two subtabs, but here the animation options are tailored to creating a simple spin of the model without using the timeline. The Sun Study once again has two subtabs, and animation options set up an output tracking how the sun lights the model throughout a certain time period. If I know there are certain settings that will be used often, such as turntable with 150 frames, I can save them as a render profile that can be quickly loaded here or used in easy mode. To save the settings for this turntable, I'll go to the File menu of the Output Options window and click Save as New Render Profile. The settings are automatically saved into the profile, so I'll name it Turntable. And click Done to add the profile. I'll close the Render Profiles window. And if I want to use it again in the future, I can go to the File menu and select Load Render Profile to bring up the Render Profiles window. I'll switch back to Render and start a render in fast mode. So long as Show Progress was selected, a new tab will open in Visualize where I can see the time remaining, pass counts, and pause or cancel the render. Visualize offers a range of output options suited for any scenario and by saving them as render profiles, often used render settings can be quickly chosen.